Welcome back, everybody. Our next guest says that simplicity is the key to making quality Italian cuisine. Mario Zotti, our very own Iron Chef America, is in the kitchen cooking. Mario, yes, so good morning, for joining good morning, us. Good morning, daytime Chicago. Thank you for having me. Your very first episode. No, yes, thank, thank you for being I'm here. I'm honored and thank you so much. But I have to cook. Sorry, I can't talk that much because okay. we're gonna get it done, right? <laughs> okay, so, okay, what you cooking? But uh, today we're gonna do a, a few dishes. But starting from squid ink spaghetti oh so spaghetti already as you can see from the color they're already oh. actually oh. nice and black but don't worry about it they don't taste that much like the seafood charcoals. don't worry uh -oh. about it charcoals correct so it's but in the pasta when you're making the pasta correct yes oh, so I we use that. a squid ink in the process and then it will turn completely black basically uh -huh. and it's a very unique thing not too many people like to use this and then we're gonna have some mixed seafood so i'm gonna start to cook the seafood as well and we're gonna do uh, clams, mussels. I'm gonna put a little bit of extra virgin oh, olive oil oh. first. Oh, putting the. I use always in extra virgin olive oil. I don't use any other oils because it's easier for me to give it a better flavor profile. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna start with some of the mussels. Be careful when you guys are home and you're cooking. Mm -hmm. Make sure that your mussels and clams are all closed. See? Oh wow! There you go. And then a little bit of the calamari too. Oh yeah. And what is this dish and called, Mario? Cover. Sorry? What's the dish called again? This is just black squid ink spaghetti with mixed seafood. Okay. I'm trying to find my cover here so I can make sure this one doesn't splatter, but we're doing good. In the meanwhile, this one cooks. I'm going to start to make a little bruschetta for you. Bruschetta yeah. comes from the word bruscare. Yeah. Bruscare means toast. So we have some toasted bread. I already made some for you to enjoy. I hope they don't mind that I'm going to... Yes! Run away from here. Thank you. Ooh, this is so good. Enjoy. Oh, okay. Don't make a mess. I forgot the napkins. That's and okay. then uh, in the meanwhile, we're cooking our seafood right here. The pasta is already to boil. We only have seven minutes. This pasta takes about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Make sure you salt it plenty. Okay. 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 So put a lot of sea salt. Has to taste like seawater. How do you know it's done? Well, it's gonna be al dente, to the oh. tooth. A little bit more harder. A lot of people like it overcooked, but we don't do overcooked in Italy because it's healthier for you when you actually have a little bit underdone. Okay. It's much better for your glycemic level as well. Like so vegetables, that's right? But same, same like the vegetables, vegetables right? too. Yeah, overcooking vegetables sometimes it's like, what are we doing, right? So mm -hmm. I think I, I taste your limoncello jelly. You taste actually honey with balsamic. Mm. Honey and balsamic. Yeah, oh, honey balsamic okay. and honey with truffle. Mm -hmm. And then I'll tell you in a minute also, mm. More mm. about those products as well. A little bit of white wine during the cooking. Mm -hmm. Trying to use it all. Mm -hmm. uh, don't do like many people that they drink it and then whatever they have left over, they put it in the dish. So just you know, make sure we put them in here. We give it some flavor profile. A little bit of fresh uh, salt. A little bit of chili pepper. Chili pepper. Just a little bit. Just enough to give a little flavor profile, a little touch, a little spiciness, mm. and then it will be ready in no time. Here we go. Okay. Mario, how long have you been cooking? Uh, my mom was my inspiration since when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely cooking at home for us was a privilege. I consider myself very lucky because a lot of people sometimes come to me and they goes, oh, why don't you make spaghetti with meatballs or, or this stuff with tons of garlic? In our tradition in Italy, we don't do much of American Italian cuisine. Mm. We do Italian cuisine. Yeah. And for me, I was very lucky because at that point, I found out that uh, I know what is the standard of the flavor that I'm supposed to reach. Yes. A lot of us, they've never been to Italy. Yeah. They rely on what the neighbor used to make mm -hmm. or what the restaurant makes, but they don't really know if that's a real Italian one or not. There are some great Italian restaurants, don't get me wrong, but there is a lot of American Italian that I love their cuisine, but it's nothing close to what we actually make in Italy. Okay, so what's the difference between sauce and gravy well, in Italy? Well, that's a big, big uh, argument. Uh, at the first episode, you had to ask me this. <laughs> so, uh, you really wanted to uh, enjoy this beautiful time, right? Um, <laughs> gravy, to my dictionary, is what we put on top of our beautiful turkey. Got it, okay. That's sauce what I thought. is the sugo. That's okay. it. Now, I'm going to probably have a lot of people that are going to bash me <laughs> online and on Instagram, but no, unfortunately, I go by the dictionary. So, yeah. as you can see right here now, the clams, the mussels, they are cooking pretty well. Now, if you ever happen to have 
a pack, if you buy fresh or if you buy frozen, if you have to, if they're already open, do not put them in, they're already dead. Okay. Oh. So therefore you want to just leave them out and just use whatever is closed and then they will open actually when during the cooking. Them. Yeah. And you want to make sure you get a good flavor profile in there. A little bit of white wine, extra virgin olive oil. On your toast that you had, the bruschetta, excuse me, mm -hmm. you have one of them with a semi sun dry spicy tomatoes. That's so right good. Right there. That's why, yeah. The other one is actually with the honey that I mentioned to you before. That's delicious. And then I have another one which is my favorite. It's the one with artichokes, olives, and truffle spread with a couple of cherry tomatoes. Uh, very easy to assemble. Your Wonderful. guests are coming. They're always going to say, oh my God, can I help you with something? It's about time you say yes. <laughs> so tell them, hey, this is the bread. Do this. In the meanwhile, that's what they're going to do. And they're going to help us out in the whole cooking process and then give us a little bit of less a hard time when they're coming. The pasta is almost ready. How do we know it's al dente? Who wants to come and taste it? Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Now, careful. She's gonna fall first. Don't fall. <laughs> Here. Now, come closer. Come closer. First of all, you gotta blow it because it's too hot, right? Keep going, keep going, keep going, <laughs> keep going. Oh my God, Jeez. it's gonna stay you all day. We only have seven minutes, I'm just kidding. There you go, next. Oh, careful, there you go. Is that ready? Yeah. I don't trust you. Okay, let me go. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so sorry. I apologize. I have to. I want to make sure that Amy ne never had my it's cooking, good. so you know. Oh my God. Hmm. It's ready. Yeah. It's ready. It's perfect. Yeah, you're right. All right. So, so now, the clams are cooked. If you want it. All right. So well, we That's very good, actually. Very good. I told you. Nice. Oh, I, I, really I good. did a good trust job. Me. Amy, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to leave you out. No, no, but, guys. You know, um, anyway. So we're going to take a quick break. Okay. You're going to finish it up in the break? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. And then we'll be back. I'll be here. Yeah, okay.